Hey, baby girl. Hey, Noel. How are you? I'm alright. How are you? I'm okay. How are we going in the filming and all? Uh, kind of frustrating, to be honest. I've had... Why, yeah? I don't know. It's like so many things going wrong, man. Like, people pulling out and stuff. I thought that guy was supposed to help you. Well, he was, but he called me earlier today saying that he can't do it for whatever reason, la, so... I, uh... Yeah. So how? How long are you gonna keep doing this? <sighs> I think this is it. It's been incredibly difficult to produce this documentary here in Singapore because I've had BOMOs and even people that have suffered from black magic done by BOMO they would pull out at the last minute even after I guarantee them that I would pixelate their faces or we would alter the pitch of their voices uh, they would want nothing to do with this documentary because of the fear of how powerful a BOMO is and, and uh, the repercussions that they would face so even if I tell them, you know what, your identities will be kept secret, uh, they refuse to have anything to do with the BOMO documentary. It's so simple to do black magic these days. You don't even need to step up from your house or from your office. It can be done online. It can be done via an app. Isn't that scary? That from just a few dollars, you can curse someone, you can ensure that the person goes bankrupt, you can ensure that the person falls sick. And they even tell you that it can be done in a certain number of months or even weeks. The following videos may not be suitable for some because it involves real BOMOs at work and also people that are possessed. We do not know whether these people are alright after the rituals, but of course, we hope that they are. Some people, business is not up, huh? that don't see me, uh, give him that like, kemenyan or lemon like this, orange, give him, eh? and then the people just do that, this is all your, they, your kedai, eh? your shop, uh, about 10 days you see, people come or not. This copy, you spray this copy, you, you put your name in the copy. And then, this, kita panggil jampi apa ni? Free eh? Free the copy. 
just call your name. And then that copy give you give you to drink. Then you, you drink a copy and some some girl uh, like you uh, you don't like that girl. Then that girl just going to Jumbo Bomo, just pray the copy, give you drink and you every day you ring at that girl. Every day you want to see that girl. Zin itu hidupnya seperti kita. Dia punya tempat. Tapi dia kebanyakan tinggal di seperti tempat-tempat yang sunyi. Seperti like jungle area. Dia tak mau tempat orang ramai. Pasal Zin itu, dia bisa tiba-tiba serupa seperti manusia. Dia datang seperti manusia. Directly wujud manusia. Tapi ada yang tidak kita lihat. Tapi dia boleh pukul kita atau bikin kita sakit di belakang di kaki kalau dia kita tidak lihat dia kita berjalan kita berjalan tidak baik tidak apa namanya polo prosedurlah kadang-kadang kita tok tak bagus dia pun marah itu kadang-kadang orang pulang dari satu tempat kalau dia nanti pergi satu tempat pulang sakit suddenly itu jin yang punya kerja dan jin ada dua macam, two kind. Ada jin baik, ada jin jahat. Jin baik, dia sabar. Kita langgar dia, kita buat apa-apa, dia tak marah. Tapi ada satu jin jahat. Sama kayak manusia, ada gangster. Kita dia lihat sombong, tak baik, tok tak baik, dia pukul. Tiba-tiba kita muka panas, contoh ya. Tiba-tiba nanti muka sakit. Itu jin yang jahat. Uh, kalau sekian macam tu, you nak kena cari satu barang untuk pakaian. Min kalau orang Melayu cakap azimat ataupun protect you punya diri, something to pray with you, and then something maybe black want to come to you, cannot come. Uh, mana tak kena lah pada diri. Uh, tak kena pada diri sini, boleh elak. Uh, tapi something lah, you want to cari one thing, or batu or kayu what lah nanti di jampi kita bawa jalan pakai mana-mana jalan this is really hard for me to do the past year has been really difficult for me. There's been so many downs and f very few ups, if you get what I mean. I don't know if it's related to whatever you watched in part one with the BOMO and whatever that was revealed, or it's related to my paranormal work. Now, I started my paranormal work about nine years ago, and I've been in a really, really dark place. Uh, if you ask any paranormal investigator or ghost hunter, uh, that's the fancy term for us, uh, they would tell you that what we do is very difficult because you're dealing with a lot of dark forces and a lot of times you actually bring these dark forces home because they, they don't leave you uh, alone after you're done with an investigation, you know? So uh, business has been terrible. Uh, the, the, the thing that really hurts is, um, okay, you know, you put, you put work aside and uh, to me, I'm, I'm a very private person, okay, besides uh, anything that I post on social media, I'm actually a very private person and to me, uh, Friends mean a lot, uh, family, and of course, you know, you guys saw Song Cat B. Uh, she's my fiance, and uh, she was with Ghost Watch, right? And to me, the last draw was a few months ago, and we were at home, we woke up. 
I told her I'm going to cook for lunch and I was in the kitchen and she was lying in bed and she felt something lying next to her in bed. Okay, and that totally freaked her out because it, was, it wasn't me. It wasn't an actual person. Uh, it was an entity and we were arguing a lot for, for no reason. Uh, the energy in the house was horrible. Uh, and when my father died a few years ago, it was tough because I would be seeing a lot of stuff in the house and yeah, it's just really, you know, it's very difficult for me to let this go because Ghost Falls Singapore uh, is my baby, built it up from nothing and I always feel that I owe the viewers a lot, you know, because when I'm out, people are always asking me, bro, when's the next episode? So I feel that I'm, I'm letting a lot of people down, but in essence, I know that I'm doing what's best for me. Because ever since I stopped ghost hunting, it's been, been a, a good few months now and, and I'm in a better place. I'm no longer depressed. I'm no longer um, angry for no reason. I'm not out drinking my life away, you know. I want to thank my family for supporting me um, when I took up this this hobby. It started out as a hobby, right? As a ghost hunter, it, it, it definitely wasn't easy for them. Uh, it definitely wasn't easy for uh, my late father, you know, my mom, and of course Gabby. You know, she stuck by me. She wanted to be a part. Of this, of this thing that was huge in my life, you know, ghost hunting. So she joined Ghost Watch, and then she, after one, she didn't want to do it anymore because that's how legit this is. This is how legit uh, the show is. You know, we, we never faked anything on the show, right? We 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 never dramatized any of our episodes, and for that, I think we we got a very loyal following. So you, the fan, I would like to thank you so much for letting me be a part of your life. If you want to know more about my paranormal experiences, I've got a book that's out, that's on uh, Amazon, right? The uh, leading uh, online bookstore. Uh, it's there. It's on Barnes & Noble as well. So if you want to find out more about what I do and what I've experienced and the stuff that's followed me home, uh, buy the book man and really thank you so much i i'm a very simple man i cannot ask for anything more So, your question will probably be, what's next for Noel Boyd? Well, we are working on a paranormal podcast that is going to hit really, really soon. Uh, so, look out for that. And I'm going to continue emceeing. That's my love. You know, I love being on stage. So, if you have a corporate event, hit me up. We'll see what we can do. And for the folks that have been writing to me, that's something I'm really, really bad at. I'm trying to improve, but I take a long time. To reply but i would do my best to to reply to the fan mail soon once again i'd like to thank everyone for watching ghost watch and also ghost files singapore and of course for watching this documentary this is noel boyd signing out